Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 iconic movie scenes of the 1980s. Because I am hard, you will not like me, but the more you hate me, the more you will learn. For this list, we're looking at the most impactful moments from films released in the 1980s. Although you're probably familiar with most of these scenes, we still feel compelled to provide a spoiler warning. What 80s movie moment sticks with you the most? Be sure to tell us in the comments. Number 10. The Parade. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career and they never doubted it for a second. Some people spend their days off catching up on sleep or tidying up their homes. Ferris Bueller has bigger ambitions, like being the star of a parade. While playing hooky in downtown Chicago with best friend Cameron and girlfriend Sloane, Ferris, played by Matthew Broderick, commandeers a mic at the city's Von Steuben Day Parade, first performing a lip-sync rendition of Wayne Newton's Donkashane. Cameron Fry, this one's for you. But the celebration really starts once the Beatles' twist and shout comes on. Every shot shows people of all ages looking like they're having the time of their life. According to director John Hughes, this scene was filmed during an actual parade, which makes it feel even more special. We do not condone truancy, but we sure do love this scene. Number 9. The Golden Idol – Raiders of the Lost Ark We've seen full-length action movies that are nowhere near as exciting as this one scene. In a cave full of booby traps, archaeologist Indiana Jones and companion Sapito come across a brilliant golden idol. John Williams' strings, Steven Spielberg's direction, and Harrison Ford's look of determination combine for maximum tension as Jones swaps out the idol for a bag of sand. He is soon running for his life and betrayed by his companion, who does not exactly get away with it. And Jones's problems don't stop there, as nemesis Rene Belloc gets his hands on the idol. Dr. Jones, again we see there is nothing you can possess which I cannot take away. And you thought I'd given up. This whole sequence from beginning to seaplane escape is a complete thrill. Moments like this separate movie characters from movie icons. Number 8. Johnny B. Good, Back to the Future Going back in time is a surefire way to change history. With his eventual parents now smitten with each other, and his existence still on the table, time-traveling teen Marty McFly, played by Michael J. Fox, takes the stage as the replacement lead guitarist at the school dance. Let's do another one. Uh, no, I don't Come on, man. Let's do something that really cool. He introduces everyone to both a new song and a new sound playing Chuck Berry's yet-to-be-released rock and roll classic, Johnny B. Good. Watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? It's not long before everyone is dancing, and Berry's cousin Marvin is frantically calling him. You know that new sound you're looking for? Well, listen to this! Marty eventually gets so into it, everyone is left baffled, which makes sense given how they had never experienced anything like this before. Okay, I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. But your kids are gonna love it. Actual time travel might not be possible, but we are always up for revisiting this classic moment. Number 7. The Boombox – Say Anything Romantic gestures in movies don't get much bigger than this. One morning at dawn, the heartbroken Lloyd Dobler, played by John Cusack, plays Peter Gabriel's In Your Eyes, his song with Ione Skye's Diane Court, outside of her bedroom window from a boombox hoisted over his head. It's a little corny, but both actors sell the complicated emotions of the moment, with Lloyd and Diane wanting to be with each other, but circumstances keeping them apart.
without a single word spoken between them. We understand how they feel about each other. How many lovesick guys found their inner Lloyd Dobler after seeing this scene? Number 6. Sergeant Elias's Death, Platoon Great filmmakers can immerse viewers in the unimaginable horrors of a war zone. In this scene from Oliver Stone's Vietnam War set masterpiece, the titular platoon is under attack and flees for safety in a helicopter. Back down! Back down there! One member who doesn't make it is Willem Dafoe's Sergeant Elias, already betrayed by Tom Berenger's Sergeant Barnes, and now futilely trying to escape North Vietnamese forces. Stone's camera captures the drama of the moment from the air and on the ground, and the image of the bloodied Elias raising his arms and looking up towards the sky before ultimately collapsing to the ground is unforgettable. <laughs> Equally important is the use of Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings, which makes this devastating moment hauntingly beautiful. Number 5. At the Restaurant, When Harry Met Sally Sexually charged movie scenes can take place outside of the bedroom, and one of the best examples comes from this rom-com classic, written by Nora Ephron and directed by Rob Reiner. Hey, I don't feel great about this, but I don't hear anyone complaining. Of course not, you're out the door too fast. I think they have an okay time. How do you know? I mean, how do I know I know? While at a deli, friends with feelings for each other, Harry and Sally, discuss women's pleasure, with Harry, played by Billy Crystal, saying he knows when a woman is putting on an act. Most women at one time or another have faked it. Well, they haven't faked it with me. How do you know? Because I know. To make a point, Sally, played by Meg Ryan, works herself into a frenzy to the shock and intrigue of the whole restaurant. This commentary on bedroom etiquette is still relevant, and Ryan's boundless enthusiasm is irresistible. In the words of this patron, played by Reiner's mother Estelle, we'll have what she's having. I'll have what she's having. Number 4. Here's Johnny, The Shining Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of Stephen King's novel about a hotel caretaker who goes on a murderous rampage stands apart from horror movies both then and now. We could pick any number of sequences from this classic, but the most impactful involves two words improvised by star Jack Nicholson. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration, you're distracting me, and it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Understand? When Nicholson's Jack Torrance finds his wife Wendy, played by Shelley Duvall, locked in the bathroom, he takes his axe and starts swinging. Wendy? I'm home. To complete his entrance, he recites Ed McMahon's classic introduction of Tonight Show host Johnny Carson, right before Wendy defends herself. Here's Johnny! Nicholson, who had real-life firefighting experience, chopped down an actual door for this scene. Scary, funny, and completely original. This scene has it all. Number 3. Say hello to my little friend, Scarface. They're all over the place! Get out of here! All great actors have energy, but Al Pacino has something else. In this unbelievably violent scene at the end of Brian De Palma's Scarface, drug kingpin Tony Montana, played by Pacino with next-level commitment, takes his proverbial last stand when his mansion is overrun by men sent by colleague-turned-enemy Alejandro Sosa. So why don't we split the risk? You guarantee your delivery say, as far as Panama. We take it from there. Pacino's line right before he starts firing is ingrained in movie history. But there's more to this than just a great line. Say hello to my little friend! While the violence can feel excessive, it's needed to make a disturbing point about the cost of greed. As Tony Montana's power grows, so does the danger around him. And eventually, he has nowhere to go but down. And that is exactly where he ends up. Number 2. The Bike Chase – E.T. the Extraterrestrial Few directors understand how to create wonder quite like Steven Spielberg. 
In this timeless story of friendship, Elliot, played by Henry Thomas, makes friends with a lost alien creature, wanted by the government. With agents in hot pursuit and Elliot and his friends on their bikes trying to get E.T. back to a spaceship, they need nothing short of a miracle. That is exactly what they get, as E.T. uses his telekinetic powers to send their bikes soaring through the air. The very thought of the silhouetted bikes flying in front of the moon is enough to choke us up. There is one other miracle present, and that's the fact that a moment as beautiful as this one exists. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The final dance, Dirty Dancing. We had the time of our life, too. Tears in Rain, Blade Runner, one of the most beautiful monologues in movie history. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Dance Party, The Breakfast Club. When the principal is away, the kids will play. Clifftop Duel, The Princess Bride. A perfect mix of exciting and playful. Oh, there's something I ought to tell you. Tell me. I'm not left-handed either. Wax on, wax off, The Karate Kid. No one gives guidance like Mr. Miyagi. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on, wax off. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. I Am Your Father – Star Wars Episode 5 – The Empire Strikes Back When audiences went to see the second installment in the legendary Star Wars franchise, they had no idea what they were in for. At the end of a lightsaber duel, Jedi in training Luke Skywalker loses his hand, and then something even worse happens. He learns that the villainous Darth Vader didn't physically kill his father Anakin, as Obi-Wan Kenobi led him to believe. He is his father. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough! He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. When we first saw this, we felt just like Mark Hamill's Luke, in total shock and disbelief about the news, but realizing its truth. This secret was so well kept that most people working on the film thought the revelation was that Obi-Wan killed Luke's father. No, it's not true. That's impossible! Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No! And with that, Star Wars and movies in general changed forever. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.